file, and then we'll resume with questions. Yeah, and I'll address that question. Um, this decision is not based on any intelligence. This is a policy decision, and it's one more of the timid, hesitating half measures this administration has taken. You may have seen this morning in the annual open hearing of the Senate Intelligence Committee, I press Director Avril Haines on this. There is no intelligence that suggests these aircraft, this, somehow uniquely, these aircraft are going to be escalatory in Vladimir Putin's eyes. It was the exact same intelligence that caused the administration not to sten send Stinger missiles for all of last year, to slow down the delivery of anti-tank missiles. There is no intelligence to support this. It's only the policy decision of the president. And it is a ridiculous decision, and it makes the United States look ridiculous. On Sunday, we give the green light to Poland to provide those planes. Two days later, it would be escalatory if we did it after Poland gave it to us. We're providing them Stinger missiles to shoot Russian pilots out of the sky. We can't provide them tactical aircraft. You know who I bet doesn't draw a distinction between those two things? The Russian pilots who are being shot out of the sky by Stinger missiles or by tactical aircraft. This is just yet another instance in which Joe Biden has allowed Vladimir Putin to back him down by saying boo. He reminds me of the generals of the Army of the Potomac when U.S. Grant took it over in 1864, had been beaten down by Robert E. Lee for three years. And Grant told them, I'm sick and tired of hearing about what Lee is going to do to us. You think he's going to do a somersault and land on our flank, both our flanks and our rear at the same time. You should go back to your commands and decide what we are going to do to Lee. That's what Joe Biden needs to do. He needs to decide what the United States and NATO are going to do to put Vladimir Putin on the back foot. Because if we continue, if we continue to blink every time Vladimir Putin says boo, it's not going to stop in Ukraine, it's not going to stop in Europe, we might as well call the commanding general at Fort Lewis outside Seattle and tell him to go take down the flag and surrender our position because we will never stand up to Russia if every time Vladimir Putin says boo, we back down. Thank you. Yes. That's pretty